What's up guys, it's that's me and I'm coming to you with another episode of Deck Building 101. Um, this episode, I'm going to concentrate more on searching rather than drawing, unlike what I did last time, which was more focused on drawing rather than searching. So, for those of you who are newer to the game, the difference between drawing and searching is that drawing, uh, you just pick up the top card of your deck versus searching, which you actually get to uh, search out a specific card that is under a certain type of condition. So... Just to list a few examples that do this, uh, Reinforcement of the Army is probably the most well-known card. Uh, add a level 4 lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. Summoner's Art essentially does the same thing, but with uh, level 5 or higher normal monsters. Uh, uh, emergency Call. Uh, this is the uh, hero version of Rhoda. Uh, emergency Teleport. Now, searching is not necessarily limited to just adding to your hand. Uh, searching can also be uh, applied to cards that special summon directly from deck. So, e Telly does that very well. Uh, special summon one level 3 or lower psychic type monster from hand or deck. Um, Manju, uh, one of the most popular uh, searchers of like for the past uh, few months, especially with Necros. Uh, add a ritual monster card or spell card from your deck to your hand. Uh, Squamata, kind of like a searcher, it sends cards to the graveyard. It deck thins. So, I'm putting this here just as like an example for later. Ignites, in general, um, search out each other. Uh, Abistius, this is the searcher for mermail monsters. Co uh, farm, Cosmo Farm Girl, one of the new uh, cards. Uh, you get to add a Cosmo card from deck to hand. Upstart Gold Ninja, I'm throwing this in kind of like as a little, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's kind of like a uh, hint as to what I am doing next uh, week for the deck build, for uh, the new deck profile. But uh, yeah, that this guy is basically the ninja version of uh, Summoner Monk. So, and which is also, I would call a searcher. Now, as you can see down here, I have some draw power uh, cards. Uh, Upstart Goblin, Reckless Greed, uh, Hand Destruction, the new chicken chicken game or chicken race, whatever the heck you want to call it. And one that was kind of old, uh, Sacred Crane, which when he special summon, you get to draw one card. Um, so, why is... Uh, searching inherently better than drawing now drawing is pretty essential mainly because as i said in my previous video if you play three upstart go goblins or something of the like you are playing a smaller deck well the same thought process kind of applies to searching in essence you are playing a smaller deck by playing uh cards that search uh uas search pretty well they use uh reinforcing me Ar reinforcement of the army um signing deal and ua stadium to search out each other um, the problem with searching is that, uh, well, not the problem. The, like the good thing about searching is that, you know, what you're getting, you're using the card to specifically seek out a card that you need in that moment, or that you could use later down the line that, you know, you will need, and you don't want to draw randomly. The problem with drawing is that you draw randomly. Um, you don't know what's on top of your deck unless you top deck, like before chain was banned, you could do that. But essentially what searching does, it guarantees you the card that you need at that moment or when you need it. So, um, e Telly is very useful mainly because it is a quick play spell. Um, like, it just activate like, you can activate it at any time. Um, Squamata is pretty useful mainly because, and he's a different type of searcher. He sends to the grave. Um, what I could, like, yes, what, like, what I call, um, while this is kind of like, Squamata is, like, a searcher for shadals what i call cards like uh foolish burial or um mathematician a search card no uh the reason why i would call squamata a search card is because of the way the deck functions um the deck gets a uh gets functions based on the fact that they get sent to the graveyard squamata can send any shadal card from deck to grave so that's very very useful it really helps their play squamata is a very key card in the deck so um Squamata is that, in my opinion at least, is a searcher if you disagree, whatever. But I do think, at least for Shadal, Squamata is a searcher in that case. Um, all Ignites do is search, they deck thin like crazy. Um, I was testing these guys out the other day, and um, I was down to maybe like 15 cards left in the deck by the end of my first turn. So, Ignites, yeah, they're the main, they're the probably the biggest search engine, maybe after Necros. Um, Necros, while well, they were bigger, uh, they're not as big as they were, as they are, as they, like, as they are, like, they're, they were much bigger before, uh, this ban list, if you don't know, 
Um, their spell cards could banish themselves and another card, I believe. Yep, right here. And you can search out another Necros card from your deck, depending on the card that you banished. So, I believe there was a spell card every time. Yeah, it is a spell card. So, um, which gave them a ridiculous amount of resources. So, even if you were able to negate this, uh, one of these guys, um, they would end up just being able to banish it anyway and search. So, they, like, the reason why Necros were so good was because they had a, a limitless... Like, not really limitless, but it seemed like a limitless supply of materials that they could just keep going through and it wouldn't matter what you did. Um, now, the, like, the problems with searching. Search cards can become dead. Um, I have gone through multiple times when, uh, like, late game, when you're either, like, really, really far behind or really, really ahead, sometimes you don't want a search card. Um, mainly because... You've either gone through the cards already that you need. For example, if I'm playing UAs, the only level four in the deck, other than Halberd, which I wouldn't want to search out, is Midfielder. Um, UA Midfielder is the only level four um, UA monster, and it's the one that really helps get your plays going. And if you've gone through all three of your Midfielders by the end of the... <laughs> or they're all in your hand by, like, turn four, Rhoda becomes really just not that great. Um, because it becomes, it just becomes a dead card and it's, you can't search anything else out for it except for Halberd, which I wouldn't typically do. I'd rather just keep midfielder in my hand and then just keep cycling it back with the UA effects. But anyway, um, Summoner's Art, um, again, uh, yeah, it's problematic mainly because late game it becomes dead. E-Call, another one, great, great example. Uh, E-Tally, uh, it's a little bit easier to get away with E-Tally mainly because it does have such few targets. Um, and you, there is a card called Durandal and Jar of Avarice. And yes, you, that could theoretically, uh, help all of these. e is just a little bit faster than all of these and, um, it, it really just helps. Um, Manju, it's harder to really just peg him down because there's only three of him and he's, and he himself is not searchable. Um, but he searches out everything. If you're playing a ritual deck, you're playing three of them and you like Necroz and there are many, many targets you can use Manju for. So, um, but in general, like Ignites do have this problem where cards become dead later in the duel or even by like turn two. I have found that like, if I draw into multiple search cards, I can't use them mainly because they, it becomes dead. Um, I can't search. There's nothing left to search. And that's like the biggest problem with Ignites is that they, um, a lot of their, half the deck becomes dead turn two. And while I do enjoy playing the deck, it's still, it's problematic for the deck because you want those, you do not want to get rid of those cards mainly because you need the searches first turn, but the second turn, you don't want them anymore. So that's problematic. Um, Abistius, uh, this guy, um, He's a great searcher for uh, Mermails. Mermails play a very monster-heavy deck. That was just the format. The past few years before this past year where searching was a thing, which I will go over why that is. Um, the, like, they, like Being able to ditch a water monster, like one, that gets off the Mermail effects, two, he gets to special summon himself, and three, he then gets to search out another card. So, um, yes, you're negging, you're negging one, which means like you're losing one card from the hand when you originally had two other ones. So if I opened up with Abistius and like, let's say see, like, um, Abiscund, um, ditch Abiscund, uh, special summon Abistius and then add any other level four Mermel monster that I want to my hand. Um, I just went from two cards to one card in my hand. Typically, a search card will not neg your hand. e -tally kind of does that, but it's not that big of a problem because you just special summon it straight and you would just normal summon it anyway, so it saves your normal summon. Um, but most of the time, school, like Squamata doesn't do that as much. Um, Ignites have a big problem with that. They, they like If they don't open up with a good hand in terms of like they don't have a Royal Magical Library, then they're kind of it hurts them heavily. So... Um, ignites like they are negging they are uh, negging two to add one so that that's a big problem for the deck uh upstart golden ninja and summoner monk again they kind of do the same thing they you need to ditch a trap card for ninja you need to ditch a spell card for monk in order to special summon another card from your deck you're summoning this guy or this guy and ditching a card from your hand so you can add so you can special summon a card from your deck so that's um but the good thing about 
um, searchers uh, is that they deck thin. Uh, and they specify what they deck thin. Again, like, being able to choose what you want from your deck to add to your hand. Like, Rota used to be at 1. And for good reason. Like, being able, like back when searching wasn't the main component of the game, being able to search out any card was stupid. Summoner Monk was also kind of ridiculous back when it like back when it was uh, first put on the ban list, um, because yes, you were negging one, but you just instantly got an advantage to special summon a card from your deck or add a card to your hand. So um, now there now this is a three, now this is a two. So um, you can see like how good they are in the meta. The reason why Rota is at three is because there isn't really any significant warrior deck other than Ignites. Uh, and heroes that can really benefit off this, and usually heroes will just go with e Telly anyway. Um, Ignites, it doesn't really matter for them. I mean, like, they can search themselves out anyway. They technically may not even need Rota, maybe, um, because they have other ways of searching themselves out. So, um, but the reason why, okay, so the history behind searching searching didn't really become a really really big thing deck thinning in general didn't really become a big thing until this past year um that the current meta is all about deck thinning in terms of whether it's searching or drawing shadals do that very well um the top decks do that very well shadal does it burning abyss does it necros does it glee forts do it Klee's, like Klee's and shadals are arguably the, be the best decks right now uh burning abyss is definitely up there with them um it's kind of like a weird uh trifecta like burnt like a rock paper scissors type thing um but uh necros not so much they're borderline tier one tier one and a half uh right now mainly because uh sure it did hurt them uh being limited to one it really really slowed them down a lot um but uh if you remember, if you're a competitive player and you remember back to last summer uh, during the uh, national championships, or if you're not, a, if you weren't so much into the competitive scene, I'll, I'll just tell it. Uh, last last year, it was all about um, dragon rulers and light swarms. Uh, light, light swarm rulers were a very very big deck. In fact, it was it was like essentially one of the only decks people played. There was also hat, uh, which was. Um, uh, what was the H? It was Hands, which was referring to Fire and Ice Hand, Artifact Monsters, and Trap Tricks Monsters. Uh, that was a very, very big deck. Um, both of those decks got hurt, hit really, really hard uh, in, in uh, past ban list. The rulers are now banned completely. Um, the Light Swarms, Light Swarm Monsters, not so much. Uh, I think there were a few Light Swarm Monsters that were on the ban list a long, long time ago when they were first big. But, um, and then hat format, uh, artifacts got hit, um, not so much with the other two because fire, because the hand monsters, they're just, they just cycle. Um, and if you draw into one that you didn't want, then that's, that's bad for you. Trap tricks can like, yes, they're okay. And they're definitely going to be coming back once our Fleezia comes out. If you don't know what that card is, look it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, these, the, those decks didn't like, they weren't so like so much necessarily about, uh, Searching is so much about special summoning and milling. Milling was much bigger in past years, mainly because that was the way of two deck thin. Um, Light Swarms did this the best way. They had a, their effects at the uh, made the player take cards from the top of their deck and send them to the grave. Curry Bandit was a big card for that. Needlebug Nest got uh, got limited to one because of that, um, and had a lot of cards that are out now been in the format last year that deck would have been so ridiculous lights one rulers would have been so absolutely overpowered i mean if we had galaxy cyclone back uh last some uh last summer um what was it uh breakthrough skill was out um and that was one of the big effect negations that's why it was so stupid um back then and now and since then it has dropped in price um another card that was good uh, that that would be good right now i mean technically backjack could be good um as a trap guard to your hand um yeah there were just there was a bunch of cards that were stupid good because of the fact that you milled i mean wolf light sworn beast got the special summon himself he's a level four monster with 2100 attack which is absolutely ridiculous um yeah it's yeah it, it was just it was all about deck thinning and then when the decks got hit it was kind of like okay so where do we go for go with this duelist alliance comes out 
Uh, then we start getting decks like Burning Abyss, Shadals, Klee's. Um, and we're still in the Duelist Alliance era where cards that search are better. Being able to, like, Foolish Burial, while technically not a search card, can turn into a search card through Shadals. Um, Burning Abyss, they search each other, they search like crazy, they special summon like crazy, and they rank three spam so consistently, it's ridiculous. Cleeforts, they search through Scout. That's why Scout was limited to two, because it was so stupid. This whole format has been clearly defined by the fact that if your deck cannot search and or deck thin, then, in general, then it's not going to be tier one. Um... Or maybe not even tier, tier 2. I mean, Yang Zings do, do that as well. They technically do search. They All of their cards search out each other. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, Volcanics, they even have a searching element to add. Like, Shell can search itself out. Uh, Vol uh, Rocket can search out a um, Reload. Reload can dump scatter shots. Um, so, yeah, this is... Yeah, it, like, if your deck cannot search you're screwed um so essentially why like just to recap things <laughs> i'm sorry for like the the historical recap on past metas but um the reason why searching is good is that you can target uh, a certain card in your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it or possibly even ditch it depending on what the deck is like schoolmata or anything that's burning abyss um and you can and that deck thins and you get the card that you want and that's not necessarily a random card the bad part about um searching cards is that eventually you're going to run out of targets um if you're playing well and you're playing fast and while cards like summoner monk and upstart and upstart golden ninja don't always hit this problem too early card or even abyssia sometimes cards like um rota summoners are e uh e-call sometimes e tele ignites especially again they tend to hit a wall at some point or another so just so when you're building a deck make sure you have a right balance of random draws and uh specific searchers that's what i'm basically calling them because random draws get you the cards that you might not necessarily need at that moment but at least it's not a dead card that you can't use where versus rota or any other searching card where yes you want it early but you don't want it too late so that concludes this episode of deck building 101 thank you guys for watching uh as always please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and have a nice day